It's time for another Good Technology Mobile Minute. According to Data Genetics, 20% of the 3.4 million four-digit PIN codes they tested could be guessed using the top five most common PIN codes. But how quickly can the rest of the four-digit PIN codes be cracked? Unfortunately, the security of every smartphone operating system is a very high-profile target for attackers that is eventually cracked. In this short video, you'll see just how fast this single layer of security can be breached with just a computer, a cable, and a piece of software available from the Internet. Here we have a smartphone on the latest operating system. What we're going to do is set the pin to 0123 and confirm it. Now we cable the device to a computer and start cracking it as if it was being attacked. We'll speed up the video just a bit while the program cracks the device. In this case, the attacker is using some open source tools that are available for free. The application walks the attacker through the process very easily. It quickly goes through thousands of iterations extremely fast and here. The security on this device is cracked in under 23 seconds and the pin of 0123 is exposed. Now with the most obscure pin number, this could take closer to 35 minutes. However, that's not long before the attacker has access to keys, including keys for things like VPN and S-MIME encryption, certificates, and not just internet passwords, but an extensive list of other passwords. The most dangerous of these is the person's exchange and most likely Active Directory credentials. And with that, an attacker has not just breached the single layer of security on an employee's phone, but has likely just gained access to your corporate network and the ability to compromise your company systems. In our next video, we'll discuss what information can be found on an average employee's smartphone and the types of corporate network breaches an attacker can accomplish with such information. And we'll describe how the most successful mobile implementations bridge the gap between security and usability by simply placing appropriate levels of control on more sensitive information. And that's good.